Hello, horsey people. We're back with Rival Stars Horse Racing and through the whole of April we're going to be having lots of different coloured foals because April is the month of foals in my mind. So that's what we're going to be doing. April foals. Anyway, guys, we're going to still try and breed this peacock coat pattern. This is actually part two. So if you didn't go and see part one, I'll leave a link to that somewhere around there okay guys so what we're gonna do today yeah we're gonna try and breed the peacock color so i br i just sold the market horses that we bred in part one and we have this lot left so <laughs> i don't know how much gonna work really um we'll see we'll see um now i think that i never saw your coat pan because <sighs> there's peacock appaloosa in there but Anyway, who gets to name this little girl here? So lots of you um, suggested names. So thank you so much for that. Absolutely brilliant. A lot of you suggested some cool video ideas as well. If you have anything, put it down in the comments section below. I'd love to know. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to go with a name by or from, shall I say, Sandra. Sandra. You often comment on my videos and I really appreciate that. So thank you. So I'm going to use one of your names. I love this name. I don't know how to say it. Xena? Xena? That's a beautiful name. I think she looks like a Xena. You've actually given me quite a lot of names. Loads of you have given me names. So yeah, just keep commenting below and keep your ears peeled because I might actually be asking for some new names today as well. So yeah, good way of getting a shout out there, guys. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stables free, which is great. So let's go to the foal stools. We need to keep an eye on our coppers because, uh, yeah, we're going to use it. Let's just see. Oh, I don't think we're going to get very... Oh, I love this coat pattern. What is that? Smudged Pintaloose. We haven't bred that yet. Yeah, that's one of the coat patterns we've never bred. So I might do one of those videos next week, like another one of breeding coats I've never bred before. Anyway, we need, uh, so if I go on to pedigree, are there any peacock appaloosas? Obviously monsters got a bit there, but not like loads. I need to press breed then. <laughs> so this actually could take us quite a while, just trying to find a peacock stallion, because obviously the stallions refresh. And I recorded the other one, part one, yesterday. So <laughs> the stallion we used, who had two sets of peacock in his family tree has been refreshed which is like it's okay because actually he didn't produce us anything like in the end that we needed <laughs> oh but how are you guys have you had a good week that kind of thing have you got anything like are you looking forward to anything are you looking forward to easter do you do the whole easter egg thing me and ashley my other half we might do like there's only two of us in this tiny house, but we might do like a little Easter egg hunt for ourselves because why not? Hey, why not? Our whole relationship though. Oh, there, that might work. Let's use this one. Colossus Candle. Yeah, there's nobody else with Peacock? No. We're just like big kids and our whole relationship, I swear, it's just built on food. Okay, I think Iron Instrument. Um... Okay, could, maybe, let's breed. This stallion, ooh, with three mares. Where's Colossus gone? Um, Colossal. With, oh, I love Xena. Xena's so cool. Uh, let's just check special shade. Okay, so they all do have one peacock as a grandparent. I think we'll be very lucky. I didn't realize how hard this was gonna be. I should have just used my peacock horse on the other stable block. I've got another stable block with Shrimpy. And actually I use Shrimpy as a thumbnail because I didn't have any other pictures of a peacock horse, um, annoyingly. So I'm hopefully today we'll get a picture of a baby peacock horse. That sounds really weird, peacock horse, but peacock appaloosa. Well, we will see, we will see. Do you know what I wish? I wish we could make money jumping around the Swiss Alps or something like that. Because as much as I love the racing, I think we need to scrap the racing. Let's turn it into a full horsey game now, Rival Stars. Pickpock, if you're watching, this is what the people want. 
Oh, that's a lot of money. That was good. Yeah, we would like complete horse stuff. We want show jumping, we want breeding, like we want different types of breeds. That kind of thing. So, you know. Um, okay, we're just going to pop over one more race while I'm doing this. If you're bored, then please subscribe, turn that notification bell on and smash the like button. I really appreciate that. I'm hopefully going to get to 25,000 subscribers. I mean, that would be amazing and that's insane. Um, a lot of you asked me like how I became a YouTuber and stuff like that. I really don't know. I just, I just accidentally happened. I just put some videos up of horse uh, because I was ranting about it, I think. <laughs> and um, yeah, and then I did some rival stars and bish bash bosh, here we are. But yeah, one of the questions and answers, hopefully I'll remember to answer. Somebody asked me what was, if you didn't name yourself Lady Ranger Gamer, what would you have named yourself? And you know, I will answer that if I remember after these falls. Because you guys know I have the memory of Dory <laughs> from Finding Nemo. Okay, first fall. Is it a peacock abelusa? No, but it's really cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look how cute that is. Oh, it's so cute. I actually, because obviously when you start Rival Stars, it's the bird catcher spots that you're given everywhere. It's like, especially on the mobile version. We'll be playing the mobile version. And I'm not gonna cry. <sighs> I don't like the mobile version. Let's just leave that name there a second, but if you have a name for her. Oh, she's beautiful actually. Um, I'm glad she's a mare as well, cause if we look at her pedigree. Um, it's happened again. Let's have a look at the coat. This is not great. This is not great. We need like, I'm so confused. Hang on, the dad should be. Yeah, I think the only way we're going to get it is if the, if the dad is actually a peacock. <sighs> hmm. Okay, well, let's go into special shade. Oh, another one. Okay, yeah, because I think maybe they're just going to take on the dad's colour. But if we could have a hidden gene of the peacock, that'd be my plan. But we'll see. Another little filly, though, so that's really cute. That's cute. Let's skip her straight to my lentil universe. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's really cute. Crazy. That is cute. They're both the same. Let's have a look at her coat pattern. Like, where does the lacing fade come from? Do you know what I mean? So, you know, we we might get lucky still. But we might not. <laughs> Help. Okay, let's go straight into Unique Crystal. If this doesn't work, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh, I love the coat pattern. What is that? Is that something I've not bred before? I have a list. I have a list of ones I have not bred. That is really cute. Let's skip him straight to Stallion so I can see what colour he is. But yeah, jot down some name ideas, guys. That'd be great. We will be gaming live, not next week, but possibly the week after. But I will let you guys know probably a week in advance when we're going to do that. Oh, I love this. I need a picture of this. Look at this colour on this horse, guys. Oh my goodness, that is actually stunning. Don't think I've bred that before. Let's go check this one's coat pattern out. Oh, it's just a blanket pinterloose, but hang on, have I bred it? I must have, because it's not on my list. Have I bred that, guys? Some of you guys will probably know more than me. I don't know. Okay, let's go here. So we've got bird catcher spots. Hmm. I want to set him a stud, because he's really cool. Hmm... Are we ever gonna find a peacock? I don't want to not use Colossus Candle because I feel like we've been really lucky with the peacock. But let's, oh, let's refresh. Oh, shouldn't have done that, I don't think. Oh wow, I love this coat pattern here. Sparse Leopard is so wicked. We might do a video on Sparse Leopard actually. Because I think it's my favourite. Or even that. I mean, look how cool that is. Sabino's breeding the Sabino. Or is it Sabino? I don't know. Okay, we need to refresh. Let's do that. Am I gonna, I'm not gonna find another Peacock Abelusa actually. But what is your favorite color on the game? I'm a bit partial to this Toveril actually. Um, I, I don't know anymore. I like them all, but I just, there's no Peacock was there. No. 
Uh, yeah, I just don't know what colour I like anymore because I like them all. I wonder if Pickpock... Pickpock are constantly updating the game, which is what I love about Rival Stars because I think that's why I've not got bored of it yet because I've been playing this like a year and a half. Yeah. And um, it's just... I think they keep updating it. It's really easy to play. Desktop version is worth the money. That won't produce it, will it, guys? That's a can't even see their hidden coat pan. Uh, unless we go and find a stallion in the market that has a peacock appaloosa in its family tree, I think we'll be very lucky. And it'll probably cost us a lot, a lot of money just to find the stallion. He doesn't want us to have a stallion right now. I mean, I think oh, this is going to take forever, I think. Is this a bad idea? Who's telling me it's a bad idea right now? Yeah, just jot down, guys. What's your favourite coat pattern? I'd love to know. It's interesting. Some of you guys just like your standard dapples. Some of you like more extravagant looks. But yeah, just let me know. Oh, I don't think we're going to... Because if I could find one, like, stallion that had the peacock in his family tree, then I could breed him. But I don't think we're going to find one. I think we're going to be very lucky. I, this is seriously, this is going to be so hard. Do you guys have faith in me? <laughs> Are you going to watch this video for me and just stick it out and just see if we do it? Oh, like him. That was lucky. Oh, I just, okay, let's, let's buy him because he's only 21,000. He might have Peacock Appaloosa in his hidden genes. That's kind of my thought process okay so let's go back let's go to the stables a second and let's go see and check out charisma cargo's hidden jeans please be peacock up loser yes you my friend could be the answer to all of our problems okay let's use him as a stud Okay. Oh, joke, guys. I'm so sorry. I keep moaning about being cold. I'm freezing. It's not good. Okay. Let's have a look. Actually, I'm hungry too, which I shouldn't be. I fancy some snacks. Okay, I'm just going to breed with with all of them and any of them and pray that we have a peacock appaloosa at some point in our life. <laughs> Come on, guys. Even if we can just breed one today, I'll be super duper happy. Uh, should we breed Zena? which I still can't pronounce the name of very well. I have a great feeling about the stallion. I think he's going to produce something wicked. So let's just go on top of our account slightly with Galaxy March here. Galaxy March is actually one of our custom creation mares who I think she was the first... I think I made her, actually. Are you ready, guys? Before Aria. If you don't know who Aria is, you haven't been watching the channel uh, for very long, but I'm sure you know who Aria is. We have an original stable block on Rival Stars that's got... Can you name at least three from our original stable block? If you can name three from our original stable block, I will give you a shout out at some point in one of our videos. Another reason to put your bell notification on, because what the bell does, it allows you to know when the videos have been uploaded. If you don't have your bell notification on, you, you won't know I've uploaded. It's rubbish, right? Because you think as a subscriber, You'd be told. No, you need to put your bell thing on. Cool. La, 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 la. Okay, let's go straight into... How many seconds is that? What? Free? We never get free, like, skippable foals. I'm so confused. Okay, let's go to special shade first. I've got a great feeling. I think. Yes. <laughs> yes. I am smiled upon. Yes, thank goodness for that. <laughs> I'm just gonna like, just look at this foal for a while. And it's a bay actually, which is quite nice. Okay, let's care for foal for a second. I'm gonna call you Peacock. And it's a filly, which is quite nice because it means we could probably breed her with a stallion that's just carrying a gene or whatever. And then that way we might actually end up producing that's a really cute little family shot. Look at that. Well, yeah, we might actually produce the peacock. Which is cool. Oh, he 
he's really cute. Let's have a little picture of him in the stables. He's so cute. He is cute, isn't he? Mm, is the peacock colour growing on me? I think because I've not been able to breed it. I did a whole video on it, part one. Not being able to breed it. I mean, we bred every other colour under the sun, but we did not breed this one. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with that. That's brilliant. I'm really chuffed. Thank goodness. Because that's kind of what I wanted from the other stallions. That was kind of what I wanted. But they obviously didn't have the peacock abalusa in the hidden genes. But because they're not my stallion, I didn't. I couldn't have like figured that out. Okay, let's go straight into Xena because it's free. I was kind of going to save her to last, but we'll see. This is going to be an interesting one, I think. Oh, not what I was expecting, actually. It's got blue eyes, though. It's really pretty. Uh, we could do a video just on Xena. I mean, she's cool. Okay, let's skip this one straight to me. It's going to be a grey teapot planet. We need a better name than that. Yeah, that's really cute. I love that. Oh, I love a grey. Wait. Oh, this is where the grey hides stuff, right? It is a peacock appaloosa. But you can't see it because it's grey. See, I'm not lying about that. That is generally on the cards there. Um, okay, let's go to... I, so we've just bred two Peacock Appaloosas. Let's go straight to Lentil Universe and see what happens. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. We've just we've just bred three... Oh, sorry, microphone. Three Appaloosa Peacock thingies in a row. What? <laughs> what? Let's get a picture. So cute. Let's care for folks. I'd quite like a picture of, of her. And all fillies as well, which is kind of cool. Oh, this is a salad. You donut. Ooh, donuts. I wouldn't mind one of those right now. So, yeah. Let's have a look. That's that looks so cool. I actually love the chestnut with the peacock of Lucer because it's so vibrant. Looks like a peacock. Yay. I'm really happy with this. I like this little pose. It's cute. That's cool, right? I love it. So let's age her up and then what we get him up. Him. And then we're going to go get a couple of shots, pictures with those two together and see what it looks like. Can I do that? Yeah, let's do that now. Let's take away the overview and the tack because we want to see the bodies. Let's just. Oh, it's got the peacock in the middle. I can see a peacock. That's the Katy Perry song. I promise. Where's the grey one? Because that is a peacock appaloosa. But you can't see it because of the grey, annoyingly. But hey ho. Amazing, we've just bred three peacock appaloosas in a row. We have another two stables. So let's go see if Cargo will breed again with. Let's go with. Somebody we didn't breed with, like Unique Crystal. I don't know if we're going to get like that lucky again. Let's see if we can like fill the rest of the stable block up with peacock appaloosas. Sarcasm party. Who names these? Who names these horses? But yeah, I literally love the free reign stuff at the moment and the jumping and all that. I just love it. I love it. But we will do a video soon on the future of Rival Stars and with all these new horse games coming out. I hope it holds its own. It will always hold its own for me, but things like Equestrian, the game looks like a stride's coming out. There's like the Rancher of Rivendale or something like that. Like all these ones coming out, the biomechanics, the detail, the breeding, the genetics, everything is just kind of up one, if you know what I mean. So it's good for me in this channel because, you know, for 20 odd years, we've had rubbish horse games. And I think now, people are realizing there's a market for it absolutely okay let's go straight into who's cheaper guys <laughs> okay let's go to unique crystal are we gonna breed another two peacock appaloosas to fill the stable block and finish the stable block and then we would have done it this is part two and complete yeah today went well oh no that's annoying poopy i should have just left it where it was oh it's cute though Hello, little guy. You're cute. Okay, let's skip to Mare. It's fine. I don't mind now. Let's see, the pressure is off. Because I do not need to breed a peacock up at least anymore. It's 
cool. Robots battle. And then let's go to the next one. Sarcasm party. That's like all my students. I have one student that's particularly sarcastic. So let's go. Let's go. Ooh, I like that. I wonder if it's got the hidden peacock. Mm, looks like a Ribocano. If you look really closely, I think there's Ribocano elements there, but that's really cute. Little grey fawn. Let's care for fawn for a second because I just want to get a picture of him on his own because he's really pretty. I kind of want to do a video of breeding greys. We have done breeding pure greys together, uh, but I want to breed like grey greys with no blue eyes. Some of you guys reckoned it was Cromello. So, I don't know. Let's see what he ages up like. I want to check his gene. Let's just see if he's a peacock, all right? Okay. Salmon scale. No, he is a Rubicano. I thought that was the case. Okay, well, do you know what? We've been highly successful, I think, today. So, I'm going to just get a picture with teapot in the middle. I actually really like the photo thing. <laughs> you guys were like, it's boring, Lady Ranger. Well, I like it. Because I'm old now. I'm 28 years old, guys. See, I'm not funny about people knowing my age. I just, I'm not really bothered about it. See, that looks wicked, doesn't it? So believe it or not, oh, is it Teapot Planet? Yeah, that Teapot Planet is a Peacock Appaloosa, but you just can't see it. So you guys are probably looking at the thumbnail like, that's not a Peacock Appaloosa. Well, it is. It is now. Cool, I'm really happy with this. What a great day. So guys, if you actually love the Peacock Appaloosa coat pattern, then let me know in the comment section below. If you don't like it, also let me know. I'd love to know what the divide is here. <laughs> actually, let's do it. Should we do a poll on it? We should do a poll on it. Okay, that's it for today's video. But guys, we have got quite a bit of content coming out over the next week. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all your support for the channel. If we could try and get to 25,000 subs, that'd be amazing and completely like surreal but yeah that's it so do check if you are subscribed you've got your notification bell on and if you've enjoyed today's video and you want to see more then please smash that like button i don't know which thumb i should be using here which way is right but anyway have a awesome rest of your day thank you so much for watching bye